Hello friends, this video on natural resources part 26 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we are talking about oxygen, uh, let's talk about another molecule which is also made up of the oxygen atom and that is ozone. Now what is oxygen? So oxygen is, this is oxygen atom. So if I write O, that actually means one oxygen atom. Now, if two oxygen atoms combine, it forms an oxygen molecule. And if three oxygen atoms combine, it forms an ozone molecule. So, that's ozone. So, ozone is formed by three atoms of oxygen. So, a molecule containing three atoms of oxygen, that is O3, is ozone. Now, where do we find this ozone? So, ozone is actually formed at higher levels of the atmosphere. So, and how is it formed? Now, oxygen molecule, now oxygen molecule is present when alpha, when ultraviolet rays fall on the atmosphere, it splits the oxygen molecule to form oxygen atoms. That is somewhat like this. So in the higher in the atmosphere, oxygen is anyways present. We know that 21% of the atmosphere is oxygen. Now in the higher layers of the atmosphere, ultraviolet radiation is able to reach because ultraviolet radiation. So the atmosphere acts as a blanket for ultraviolet radiation, but the top layers of atmosphere receives ultraviolet radiation to some extent. So in presence of this ultraviolet radiation, the oxygen molecule breaks into two oxygen atoms. Now one of these oxygen atoms again combine with the oxygen molecule to form the ozone molecule. So this is how ozone is formed. So ozone basically absorbs the ultraviolet radiation because if you look at it, the formation of ozone takes place only in presence of ultraviolet radiation. Right? Now ozone is a deadly poison. But this ozone, that is a poison, only acts as a protection for us. Why? Because of the property of ozone to absorb ultraviolet radiation. Now, we often say that atmosphere acts as a blanket because it doesn't allow uh, ultraviolet radiation to enter inside the earth. So, what is that component in the atmosphere which doesn't allow ultraviolet radiation to enter? The ozone layer. So, these ozone molecules, they form a layer and this ozone layer kind of absorbs the ultraviolet radiation radiation and that is why the ultraviolet radiation cannot enter inside the earth. So the ozone layer actually pr provides protection against the ultraviolet radiation. Now you might ask that from where is this ultraviolet radiation coming? Now the sun emits many different types of radiation like the visible light, the infrared radiation, ultraviolet radiation, my radio waves, microwaves, etc. So out of all these radiations, only visible light is useful to the earth, right? But the ultraviolet radiation have very high energy and it is very harmful for the living cells. In fact, it can cause uh, various diseases in skin. If the skin is exposed to ultraviolet radiation, it can cause skin cancer. Because the DNA and proteins inside the body have a tendency to absorb ultraviolet radiation, which in turn in increases the risk of skin cancer. So protection against this ultraviolet radiation is needed. And this protection is provided by ozone, which as such is a deadly poison. But this poison acts as a protection for us. So now when we talk about the ozone layer, so all these ozone molecules, they form a layer and this layer is termed as ozone layer. So as you look at this from the sun, the visible light is able to reach the earth, but the ultraviolet radiation, they are not allowed to enter inside the earth because the ozone layer absorbs them and doesn't allow them to reach any further. So a protective layer around the earth which absorbs the harmful ultraviolet radiation of the sun, that protective layer is termed as ozone layer. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.